Good morning. It seems that Robert Blake has put up another video trying to defend the Confederacy. The Confederacy were traitors. What's going on in the streets and the rioting was what the Confederates were doing. They were Democrats and they were traitors. And it doesn't matter what the average soldier thought he was fighting for. The result of his, uh, his fighting would have been the Confederate Constitution, which allowed expansion, Negro, of expansion of Negro slavery into the territories. It doesn't matter what the average soldier thought he was fighting for. It doesn't matter what the average Je German thought he was fighting for in World War II. The result would have been Nazism. It doesn't matter what he th individually thought. This is why these guys are morons. This is why B Breaker has to be exposed as 40 years. This is why he's against interracial marriage, in his opinion, because of heritage. I don't know anything the Bible says. So that's a long video. Let's see how far it goes here. Just a few minutes here. Looting. Uh, throwing things at the cops, screaming defund the cops. You've got anarchy, you've got people burning things in the street, you've got people running around. Uh, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, the re revolutionary abolitionist movement. All of these are Marxist trained groups. And they come out and they've said it. There's video after videos that say, well, we're trained by the Marxists. Well, what is Marxism? It's communism. And uh, communism is a violent overthrow of existing society in order, well it's actually a bloody revolution, in order to bring in a communist government. Now in order to bring in a communist government they have to tear down what is already existing. And they do this by divide and conquer. They try to divide and conquer people based upon race. And so they they're very hateful people, very angry, very mean-spirited, these communists, and they try to make a race war. They divide people based upon um, gender, all right, and they make them fight. And see, this is how communist takes over. The Bible says, a house divided against itself shall not stand. And so what we see the Marxists doing is they're trying to divide this country so they can take over this country. Well, one of the things they like to divide over is slavery and they want to go back to 150 years ago and say white people bad they had slaves black people suffered why are you going back to 150 years ago and drudging up the past I don't that's right so why do you keep going back 150 years ago and drudging up the past you're the one who made a video defending slavery Talking about this guy, you know, all the all the writings in Congress that everyone defended, you know, their slaves were treated well. You brought up slavery. Why are you going back and talking about slavery 150 years ago? Understand, all right? I did a video a while back. I'm Robert Breaker, and you can look up my video here. Communist attacks on memorials are attacks on Christianity, and I stood out in front of the Confederate memorial in downtown Pensacola and talked about. Who are the Confederate people? What did they believe? Here we go. Here we go. This man is going to lie to you right now, who the Confederate people are. Now, I'm not for taking down his memorials. Because they represent history. That's a local issue. If people want to take them down, that's their business. They want them up, that's their business. But we're not going to lie about history, Robert. We're not going to lie about who the Confederates were. And I said... And I show the statue that is a memorial of the Confederate Get the thing on Const the, Con the Confederate Constitution where it says they will allow Negro slavery into any new territories. That's the issue. That's not when uh, uh, Lawson, uh, uh, Vance, when Vance puts up his, compares the American Constitution with the Confederate Constitution, there's a big blank there with the American Constitution. They won't going to allow expansion into the territories because they wanted they wanted slavery to eventually die they didn't see it as good because the declaration of independence was contrary it was a contradiction to slavery
federal people and how it said Christian on the side. And on that statue, it remembers the president of the Confederacy, and it says, hey, this, this guy was a uh, Christian. Everybody calls himself Christian. How do you know he's Christian? How do you know he's Christian? Everybody calls himself Christian back then. Well, they are trying to give in to the pressure of the communists, and communists, what they do with, in order to take over power, they have to have what they call counterculture. And what they try to do is they try to... Secretary of the Navy, uh, States of America, it is not uh, immortals to command the, uh, command the success, but we'll do more... Uh, what time was that? We'll deserve it. I don't know what that William Moore is. Semi uh, ponies uh, will deserve it. Cancel history or rewrite history or undo the history that's already there. Don't, yeah, you don't distort history, Robert. That's what these Confederate guys want to do. They want to distort history. They want to make the slavery, ah, I was all right, the, the, the slaves were treated fine, uh, Christians treated their slaves fine. You know, the, the North War heathen. That's what he wants you to believe. So, no, we don't have to distort history. We have to accept history for what it was. But we don't allow history to, 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 to uh, 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 dictate what we, what we do today. So I'm trying to show you on there, but I can't find it. But um, on the side of this statue in downtown Pensacola... It says Christian, right? Okay. And the communists, the Marxists, they're all upset. They said, oh, we want you to tear this statue down. It represents slavery. And actually what it is, it's a monument that was set up to remember the dead in an awful war. Many You're just fine. Leave the monument up. No one's advocating taking the monument down. We don't defend that. That's a local issue. If people want to keep it up, they can keep it up. If they want to take it down, they can take it down. That's between them and that local issue. They can vote on it. Many of which were Christians. Now, somewhere on that statue was the word Christian. I'm trying to find that. So communists are active in trying to tear down statues. And obviously you've seen that. Here we go, right here. If you can see that, right there. Christian. All right? Here's this statue. Jefferson Davis. He's calling him a Christian. So that's a big deal. So so was Lincoln. Lincoln was a Christian. Today, uh, 7 21 2020, we just drove by it. And as we drove by it, we found out, well, look what they did. They covered it up. Right there on the side, it says Christian. Communism hates Christianity. In a communist form of government, the state is God. When communists take over, they, they tear down any and everything that reminds them of Christianity. They burn down Bibles, they close down churches. And they attack God and the Bible. So, attacks on monuments are attacks on Christianity if they're against a monument that says Christian on it. And so, what these people do is they try to go back to the Civil War and rewrite history. And uh, 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 uh. See, he's saying they're going to go back to the Civil War and rewrite history. No, no one's rewriting history. The Confederates were the ones who were the bad guys, people. The Confederates were the Democrats. You know, for, for years after the Civil War, the Democratic Party couldn't get any traction nationally because they were known as traitors. The only, the only way they got, the Democratic Party got traction was suppressing the black vote in the South, which was voting Republican. They had to suppress the black vote in the South, and they did that, they did basically that's where the Ku Klux Klan came from. To suppress the black vote, while the, gradually the, the eligible white men in the South were allowed to return to their voting, get their voting rights back after uh, pledging um, uh, obedience, you know, the uh, fidelity to the Constitution. And then in the election, there was an election with Tilson and uh, uh, I can't remember the name was went out the president. Well, there was a tie in the Electoral College, and the, and the North agreed to take troops out of the uh, South um, in order for 
in order for that they, they may the the, the, the Republicans would, would maintain the uh, the presidency. What is his name? I forget his name. They basically turned gave up on the blacks, sold out the blacks. Gun control laws were passed in the South to intimidate the blacks who were voting Republican. That's the history, people. That doesn't change. That doesn't change because this nut wants to change it. Trying to dredge up something that is in the past. And uh, let's look and see what the Bible says. What do you about keep talking about the Confederacy for, Robert? You're the one who made a video talking about slavery and how all Christians really. The word servant really meant slaves, and how slavery is really uh, was okay. <laughs> and the southern, the southern Confederate, your, your, your ancestors had to treat the slaves well because they were Christians. When Frederick Douglass said the worst owners were Christians, <laughs> who owners, uh, the people who owned them, they were hi their biggest hypocrites. About that, if you look at the communists, they hate God in the Bible, so they yeah, won't go yeah, to the yeah, Bible. Yeah, yeah. But as a this is a guy who's saying the people who came from the the northern armies were made up of, of, of unbelievers, Unitarians, and you know, or well, they interpreted the Bible uh, incorrectly. They interpret it literally, so literal, slavery was really justified because the South was interpreting it correctly. That's what he's telling you. Christian, everything that happens in this world always makes me want to go back to the Bible. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. See, when this guy tells you. That interracial marriage, being Christians, he's against it, is his opinion. He's lying through his teeth because he always goes back to the Bible. How long are you going to be deceived by this liar? Oh, just my opinion that interracial marriage is incorrect. No, he's going back to the Bible and saying, that's what the Bible teaches. What does the Bible say? Now, Communists are using the American Civil War and saying it's all about slavery, but they don't give you... It doesn't matter if it's for slavery or not. It doesn't matter. What does that have to do with today? What does that have to do with today? It was about slavery. From the Southern side, because they want, they, the, the Southerners wanted to expand slavery into the territories, and Lincoln said if he got elected, he would not allow it. Lincoln said slavery was constitutional. He told the slave owners, I cannot touch your slaves legally. I will not touch your slaves. He told them that. We all know this. What these guys are going to do is what they switch around. They say, well, the Union, the, the Northerners are really fighting just to preserve the Union, which is correct. But the Southerners seceded, attempted secession from the North in order to protect slavery. These people are such liars, it makes your head spin. The communists can't lie more than these guys. The facts. The facts were 5% of the South owned slaves. Yeah. And they control the governments. The facts. No one denies that fact. No one denies the fact that most slave owners, there were very few slave owners, because it was expensive to own slaves. But they control the governments. And they deceive the other, the other people into, into going along with the secession. And they pro persecuted those who, who, uh, who fought against secession. Sam Houston didn't want to secede. Sam Houston was against secession. Lee was against secession until Virginia seceded. Let me stop putting this up. This is going to be a dilly. Why do you guys keep believing this guy? He goes right back to this issue. They can't break away from it, people. Any issue with the thing? That's why the article, the interracial thing, he's always going back to the Bible. He believes the Bible teaches that. That's his personal opinion. So he believes, basically, if, you, if you're if you saying interracial marriage is uh, between Christians is not an issue, he thinks you're biblically incorrect. Even the Ruckman says the same thing, by the way. <laughs> He's got a footnote in his reference Bible. And I believe Acts 16. So let me stop and put this up.
What are we doing dealing with this guy? The lies just spill out of this guy. He can't, he can't stop lying. He can't break away from this issue because these neo-Confederates cannot stand the idea that they're on the wrong side of history. That they were wrong. The Confederacy was evil. The Confederacy was wrong. They can't stand that. So they got to rewrite history. They had no right to secession. The only reason they seceded is because Lincoln won an election. The guy who said he was going to come in, not to take away their slaves, which was made the abolitionist mad at Lincoln. Lincoln and I had an abolitionist problem. Frederick Douglass, they didn't like that. Lincoln was willing to compromise in order to keep the Union together. His first role was to keep the Union together and follow the Constitution. But he said, we are going to stop the expansion of slavery. And I showed you in other videos, and I'll show you again if you want to ask, you want to ask all you people out there, where in the, in the, the Confederate Constitution, they have a whole section on there where the expansion, the taking of a Negro slave into a new territory would not be forbidden. And they purposely put in the word Negro. You don't find that in the American Constitution. You won't find that in the American Constitution. There's a big blank there. And that was what, that's the central issue of what the war, this war was about. So I'm going to put this up. We'll do more of the second part in a minute. Amen. Thank you.